Hello and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I'm Mark Dwax and this is Sly Raccoon. Now, before you go down in the comments, do you ask whatever? It's called Sly Raccoon in Europe, and I think I'm not I'm not sure about this, but I think it's called Sly just Sly Cooper because that's his name in uh, other outside of Europe. Uh, I don't know, but I think that is because I actually. Google search this and I couldn't find that many whatever this is Sly Raccoon we're playing this version let's just jump in immediately with a new game wow I've played this a lot okay, let's just erase that game uh, and that's <laughs> busted yeah I'm playing on the HD remake on the uh, PlayStation 3 Sly, come cutscene in. Sly, do you read me? yeah I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters Let police. that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. Alright, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. We got introduced to the team there. That's good. So this handsome bastard is Sly Cooper. Hey, Bentley, God damn it! <laughs> seeing things must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Or is this game design? Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Okay. So this is Sly Cooper. He's a sly bastard. <laughs> Uh, he is a master thief in a long line of master thieves in his family. So it's kind of like family business. We're gonna hear a lot about that in this let's play in this game. Uh, but the, the other team is Bentley the turtle, who is the brainy guy and the uh, nervous guy, nerdy. Yeah, you know which one. And nice job, him. you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Red door, huh, Bentley? So yeah, apparently we're breaking into uh, Inspector Fox's this red door, and here's some shiny blue red lights. Super Sly. Maybe there's and also there's Murray, the, the muscles. Literally, his title is the muscles. And we got the coins and the stuff, and it's a vault. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. 93. Damn it. 7. I took the long route. Damn it. There you go. Nice job. That's Murray. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. <laughs> I love that. He just leaves that. Yeah, I stole that. Um, okay, before I walk out there, because I know some things are going to happen, spoilers, but I'm going to explain some stuff. Uh, every time there's a cutscene where people talk in some information and stuff, I'm going to try to be quiet. Uh, I'm probably going to crack some terrible jokes while at it but yeah uh, and if they're full-on cutscenes I am not going to speak at all probably <laughs> don't quote me on that 
But uh, yeah, let's try to go out here and see what happens. Oh no! You foolish raccoon! I've caught you red-handed. Ah, oh, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Yeah, uh, so this is Carmelita Fox. Um, I don't really know how to describe her. She's kind of a love interest slash dangerous motherfucker with a bazooka. <laughs> Electric, electroshock gun, by the way. And invite Electricure us to get to the van. Murray, open the doors. Open the. Thank you. Let's go. You can't escape okay. me, raccoon. See, now I'm not going to be able to talk that much in this first episode because there are a lot of cutscenes like this. And this is also. Awesome. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That cutscene was awesome, wasn't it? I, I just love, I just love those cutscenes. When the following icon appears, the eyes saved. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. <laughs> I love how Murray just eating a hot dog reading something. I've already plotted a route. Okay. Let's go to the first place. And let's hear the intro. Prologue. Whatever. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Tide of Terror! So yeah, every every time we get to a new location, we're gonna have those prologues of the head thief 
will face off against. And I think that is so awesome. I love those cutscenes. I think they're so colorful and fun. It's not even... Oh, okay. Hey, Hi, Bentley. Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like So many tutorials. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget slide. Tutorials. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Thank yeah, you. and that's what worries me. Okay, here we go. Let's play. Uh... <laughs> And uh, in every stage, uh, okay, in most of the stages, there are these ventils get explained. So yeah, in every stage there is a clue, number of clue bottles, that in the end of the stage will open uh, a safe. With a special move in it. Uh, so I'm going to try to collect all of them and uh, collect all of the, the pages because every time in every vault there is a page in the previous raccoonus that, that we'll find uh, that thieves have hidden away in secret lockers and some for some dumb reason. God damn it! Tutorials! Yeah, they're bad. Okay, I'm gonna continue talking, Bentley, because you just pissed me off right now. They're dumb enough to just hide the clues to their vault secrets out in the field for anyone to, like, snag up. These goons can probably just... Oh, here's the bottle. I found another one, and... Yeah, you, you get the idea. I'm not that funny. <laughs> Trying to be funny doesn't really work out. Oh, hey, guy. By the way, the hardest part of this game, you only have one life. You get hit once, you're dead. Yeah. You can... Okay, how do I run? I don't remember how to run. Bentley, tell me how to run! God damn it, what actually... Need... According to my amphibial <sighs> system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know... That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, sorry, that's Nintendo, not Sony. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't remember. Everything. Oh, right, one life. You can't find uh, uh, horseshoes. If you find a horseshoe, then you can't take one extra hit. It doesn't make sense. I guess it's luck. And if you find two, the, the horseshoe will turn gold, and you'll have nice two hits to take so before you die. Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Uh, Sly, Sly games have... Uh, nowadays have a certain format. There are four Sly games as of this as of this start of the Let's Play. Yay. Um, there are three on the uh, PS2. Yeah, PS2. That got turned into shit, shit, shit. Dead. Okay, I died. First death. Great. Great. It's great. Uh, damn wrong button. You run with that button in other games. Okay. Uh, but yeah, in the in this first game, you just uh, run through stages and uh, collect bottles and like you'll have to collect in the end of every stage. This uh, except for this intro stage, there's a key. Because you always need to unlock stuff to get past the stuff and the stuff and the stuff. I say stuff a lot. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, s but in other games, in the other games, uh, 2 4, there are missions instead of keys, so you'll have to. It's more interesting, I think. 
this is the, the don't do the same mistake twice please sir madam thank you there you go uh i have not paid attention did i collect all the bottles i don't know i'll have to go back otherwise okay anyway uh these got turned off by the thing i can't talk today I, i'm just I'm so excited for this new Let's Play though! Has got to be somehow related to those clues Let's climb up here though! Collecting. Find now, some damn secret bottles! Now he's just telling us that if we find all the bottles, he'll crack the code and we can open the vault. And I think these are the last two, no? Yes! You there it is! This code! You're gonna hear that a lot. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is seven nine two. Seven nine two. Epic music. It's a page. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. Yep. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. So, for every page you learn a new kind of move or uh, you'll learn a way to better the move. Okay, there it is. Dive attacking. It's good. Oh, I was wrong. There's a key in this too. So this is what we pick up after every stage. Yeah, cool guy. And it'll open that. So that's this game. And I just love the, the, the uh, textures and the animations and the colors, especially. But I think that will wrap up the first episode of Sly Raccoon Let's Play. Yes, words in order. Make other words and sentences. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll make our way over there and other stages. I don't know what's I don't know guys, but see you next time. <laughs>